Okay, this is a classic example of an andesite lava. It has a uh, fairly coarse grain texture. You can see piercing crystals and there's also feldspars in here. Uh, it has a classic sort of extrusive texture. Uh, it's on a color index it would be intermediate between uh, a black basalt and a light colored rhyolite. Uh, so it's an intermediate igneous rock and it's coarse grain because we can see the crystals in it. It's a little bit porphyritic. There's some fine grain material in between the larger crystals. Now we're at Mount Hood today and we're at a lava flow that's along this road cut. And so the lava flow is just across the street in the shadows. So it's come all the way down the flanks of Mount Hood, traveled uh, probably about six or eight miles. And Mount Hood is a classic stratovolcano here in the Cascades. As it comes into view, you can see that the side facing us has collapsed uh, in its recent history and it's being rebuilt slowly by eruptions up near the summit of the volcano. So andesite being erupted from the stratovolcanoes here.